The Trump administration late yesterday blocked a Chinese-backed investor from buying Lattice Semiconductor. It's the fourth time in a quarter century that the president has prevented a foreign takeover of an American company, and China is not happy. Eunice Yun reports from Beijing. China had what's become a standard reaction to any steps that foreign governments take to try to curtail Chinese business activities overseas. It cried protectionism. At a regular press briefing, the Commerce Ministry expressed its concern, saying, We believe that conducting a security review for an investment deal in sensitive sectors is a country's legal right, but it should not become a tool to promote protectionism. We hope the relevant country, the U.S. in this case, can see such normal business activities objectively and fairly fairly and provide fair treatment. The state press went one step further with the idea that China is the one that's being treated unfairly. The Communist Party paper, The Global Times, pointed out in an editorial that China is not in the top 10 compared to the UK, Japan, or Germany when it comes to foreign direct investment in the US, but that nearly one quarter of CFIS's cases involve Chinese companies. CFIS is the committee that reviews foreign investments in the US. The paper said it's disturbing to see the U.S. plans to expand CFIS reviews of Chinese investment in other so-called sensitive technologies, such as in artificial intelligence. And it went on saying, as more Chinese companies seek to invest abroad, the U.S. may regret a lost opportunity if it insists on protectionism. There's an implicit threat in those comments, and China has made threats repeatedly, but so far Beijing has not announced any actual countervailing steps after Trump's decision. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Yunus Yun in Beijing.